Hey there YouTube, Flaming Creations here back with another video. Today I have this 2009 remake concept teaser trailer glove. Uh, Glowing Blades edition. <laughs> um, this is going to be a new glove I'm offering. This along with another counterpart, that being the regular non-Glowing Blades version. Uh, I'll have to explain the differences, but pretty much the this is the Glowing Blades version. So what you see here is kind of you know what you get. Um, the 2009 remake concept teaser trailer was done by Chris Johnson, Christopher Johnson. Um, and it offered a really unique kind of perspective on Freddy, and he was on fire. And one of the things is that the blades on that glove were glowing red hot from the heat. So this is my replica of that glove. Now for the production, there was like, I think, maybe six to eight different gloves. I know for sure there was a number six glove. Um, but this kind of uses as a reference for from a few of them. And this is a first attempt, so. Uh, as for the hole cuts in the leather, um, some of the gloves didn't really have a whole bunch of holes cut in them. But so <laughs> I took like holes from what I could see from one glove and used some from other gloves and kind of it culminated into this. It's a very unique glove. So pretty much the differences, uh, since this is the glowing painted blades version, this version is going to go for 200 chipped. Um, that's also going to include a little something here I'm going to show uh, later in the video. And then the regular non-glowing blades version, more of kind of an as seen today look for it I guess, is going to go for 185. But this is the glowing painted blades version. You can probably hear a big semi truck going by. This is on a large leather, but I kind of made it more to fit a medium. If you're a large, you might be able to squeeze in here, but it's made for a medium, so. Uh, this glove is for sale, by the way. Um, I did not make this for anybody. Uh, the differences between the painted blades version and the regular version are pretty much going to be in the fact that the non-painted blade version is not going to have the red, the heated <laughs> look to the blades. It's just going to be like regular knife look to it. And then there's going to be holes cut in the leather because of I have a lot of reference photos for uh, the number six glove with holes cut in it, which is different. So... But I'm not exactly sure which glove would be defined as the hero. I would speculate that the glowing painted blades version is the hero, but... Very basic looking glove. This is more of a glove that I wanted to do to test a few things, like the templates and making every sure everything fits together. And there isn't really holes in the leather, so you can't um, make a fist with this. <laughs> I mean, you can move the fingers. Uh, one thing I'd definitely say is to be careful not to scrape the blades together, since they are painted. Uh, then the paint would start to chip off, and that would be no bueno. Otherwise, it moves really good. I mean, very free-flowing glove. I tried to replicate the look of the leathers they use. This isn't the exact same style of leather, but I tried to replicate how it looked. Again, there's so many different gloves from this production. 
Uh, I have a photo of like four of the same kind of looking gloves together and there will be some differences. I noticed in one of the production photos some of the tips were more of like a dark blackish purple color from the brazing. But I kind of cleaned this all off. Kind of to look like the more acid todayish look, I guess. Um, the copper may look shiny now, but it will weather up with time. Even with some of those production gloves, the copper is shiny and it will obviously weather up with time. But now, I think, since I've rambled on enough about this, I think it's time to kind of show the other thing I have going for this glove. And the other thing I have glowing, or going for this glove, literally, glowing, is the blades. So, apparently for the teaser trailer, they painted it with fluorescent paint so it would glow under a black light and with the uh, glowing blades edition I will be including with all glowing blade edition of these um, a black light flashlight so except no batteries you'll have to supply your own batteries but I do have a black light that I just strung up over if you can't tell I'm in a bathroom right now <laughs> but the blades glow under a black light Try to look like they're really hot. So yeah, um, again, the Painted Blades version is 200 shipped, and the non-Painted Blades version is 185 shipped. So, uh, this particular glove is for sale, and again, I will include the black light. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you're interested in this glove, let me know. Yeah, it has an interesting purplish hue, but again, it, the main focus is the blades being the glow, so. Again, I would be careful with these blades being they are painted, so they don't try to chip or anything. You don't want to be scratching this or anything, whereas the paint will come off. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um... Anyways, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe. Again, this glove is for sale if anybody is interested, at least at the time of me filming this video. It is for sale, so please remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.